Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, and we are here for a love reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are looking at a holiday special is posted in the comments section pinned to the top. If you'd like 25% off of a reading, the details are there for you. And I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Hope everyone's having a good holiday season. The bottom of the deck energy is Temperance card. I love this energy. Temperance is Sagittarius. It's allowing the best self, best version of yourself to come out. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Whoa, world card. Leo, what is going on in your love life? I love this so far. In the recent past between you and a love interest, you have had the Nine of Pentacles. So both of you are highly desirable. Both of you are very popular out in the world, single, quote unquote, ready to mingle, but you are in a relationship with one another. You bring everything to the table. That is Gemini, excuse me, that's Virgo energy. Again, very much ruled by Mercury, making a lot of coin, being very comfortable. You dress well. You know, you're very comfortable. You've had a, a large degree of success in your life in the mundane world out there living well living life well the strength card leo there you are in your reading that is an incredible card that speaks to the fact that the two of you have been walking side by side for a very long time the infinity symbol is the number eight in the tarot and that is a, a lifetime i think you've had a number of lifetimes together that have really created an incredibly strong bond between the two of you. How your person views this relationship, Two of Cups, you are their person. Leo, the Two of Cups is Cancerian energy. Two people holding a cup of love out in celebration in the Rider weight. This is uh, very much soulmate of the minor arcana making a pledge and allegiance of love to one another sharing your love both of you bringing your full selves to the table how they view you leo is the six of swords you they view you as a person who's healing from something who's had some challenges you've had to have you really steer through turbulent waters they have a lot of respect for you this is aquarius energy your person even may feel that you have had to heal from something that has been uh, emotionally difficult but also could be physically difficult but it really speaks to the fact that you've had to earn your nine of pentacles status you've earned your strength you have a very, very strong inner core of enlightenment, and your person has great respect for you, Leo. The Two of Pentacles, your person in their heart space is juggling two different ideas about what they want with this relationship. They are not sure what action they're going to take. Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles is an offer. The Two of Pentacles is juggling the idea of two different options or two different offers. So with the Two of Cups, we see someone who is not fully decided about what they're going to offer you. So when we look at how they view the relationship moving forward, Six of Pentacles, they want to invest in this relationship i also am not sure that your person knows exactly how you feel with the six of swords and that's why i see the feeling i'm getting as a two of pentacles they don't know whether to step up and offer more they don't know whether to offer you the ace of pentacles which would be like a diamond ring um, so six of pentacles though they have absolutely decided that they want to give uh, they also like equal give and take we see a lot of balance here look at this we have two cups we have temperance card which is all about balancing the sets of emotions of two people from two different beautiful jugs of love wine we see the six of pentacles balancing out here we also see butterflies here of transformation the strength card is a card that comes along because the two of you have had time to really share your the strength of your love with each other what is hidden between the two of you the guide we have hierophant energy 
both of you feel as though, again, two faces of the same relationship, both of you are very much on the same page of feeling that you uh, share a similar viewpoint in life. But the Hierophant is that traditional relationship energy that exists between the two of you. There's a lot of loyalty here. There's a lot of feeling that you have some emotional sort of marriage to one another. It speaks very much to the fact that you have lots of choices. Both of you could choose any number of people. But we also see that you know, you're in this energy of being very loyal, very faithful to one another in this relationship. Spirit is recommending that you are at a crossroads that you need to make a decision. So for your partner, Leo, the two of coins, the two of wands, Spirit is calling on your partner to make a clear-cut choice and invest in the relationship. What we have for the short-term outcome of this relationship is a moon card, some uncertainty. But this is a very beautiful moon. It's really becoming... You know, using your, you know, that third eye chakra, it is a card, though, of enlightenment. In this particular moon, we see a brilliant light, an inner core in this relationship of understanding. I do feel for some of you that outside circumstances may be causing some, some sort of feeling of lack or there could even be, for some of you, a lingering relationship, a lingering marriage that was left behind, um, an uncertainty about how this will unfold, but unfold it will with the Two of Cups. Unfold. It's really incredible energy because both of you have this singlehood, but I feel as though both of you may not have the same level of freedom in your life, and that could be in regard to jobs, or that could be very much uh, be in regard to children if you've been married before, but when we get the two of coins and the two of wands, your person is being called upon to make a clear-cut choice, and until they do, it looks as though both of you feel a bit uncertain here in the near future. Spirit is calling on you with the message is that you are in uncharted waters, the uncharted sea. So, you know, I like that because the Six of Swords is also moving away from difficulties. So, Leo, it may be you. Your person may see you as the one who's in uncharted territory more than they are. The willing release, okay. So, we see both of you in this energy of being willing to release something that you're at this crossroads and your person definitely feels as though if you do not release something that they may have to to release something so interesting energy roots of abundance though again the six of pentacles energy the nine of pentacles energy the two of you are a powerhouse leo together in this relationship we see two people who love each other very dearly who've gone through i think some rough times it could be with each other it could be with you know circumstances of life but let's look and jump in and clarify this reading. The Temperance card, both of you want to work this out. It is your overall lo love energy that both of you are bringing in. Tell us about this Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. What do we have here? We have High Priestess. Both of you are in the energy of being very quiet, not really talking about things allowing yourselves to look at your inner, you know, using your third eye again, third eye, third eye energy. We even see it here with the temperance card. It looks like she is using her third eye to guide herself. We see the spirit of wands, Leo, that is you. Oh, goodness. You are in this energy of really wanting things to work with this person. Your person is, may have cancer. We have Sun energy, we have Cancerian energy, we have Leo energy, Sagittarius. Both of you are in a very nurturing state of mind and yet very fired up about the relationship. 
The Three of Coins, both of you are in it to win it. That is a card of collaboration. You may have worked together. There are a lot of coins here, so it does speak to the fact that you may work together now or you may have met through work in the past. It speaks very much to a very, oh, look at that Three of Wands. The energy that you have, you see each other as your person. You've chosen the Two of Wands has really already happened. So your person is wondering when it's going to manifest on them in life. You know, when is this energy here going to show up here and your person's uncertain? We see the Fool card, the leap of faith in the recent past. It does look like you may have gone through a period of turmoil or some difficulty in the relationship, and you really have reaffirmed your love for each other. The Two of Swords says that neither of you wants to make a change, though. The Two of Swords says that you're not seeing a way forward, and we can see that with the Moon card. But the Two of Swords is also simply just not it's just locking out the outside world it looks as though the two of you may close out the outside world because of a third party situation so what we see here is a, a story that your person is feeling as though you have chosen and you you know though you're both quote unquote single that you have not released and you've not fully healed from a third party situation or a situation with a former marriage um, partner. We see that both of you are spending time sort of ignoring that energy. The Heart of Swords, though, says that you have a very clear cut image about finding balance, that you have the strength to make it through, that the two of you are strong as a couple. And here we have the strength card yet again. The strength card is clarifying the strength card. And both of you have great clarity that whatever has happened in the past, um, you know, is affecting the relationship, is putting the, the both of you, putting t the two of you, in a situation where you're just going to let this unfold at its own pace you're going to let the healing happen that essentially you know you're in this uncharted water and that you're going to let this energy flow naturally but you do have the roots of abundance in the relationship the two of cups why is it here five of wands okay so it looks as though your person leo that is leo energy feels as though they are competing with possibly an ex-wife an ex-lover uh somebody from your past who has required uh, a lot of attention and i see this a lot when we get you know sort of the new modern uh, example of a divorce would be a father who takes the children a lot or a mother who has the children you know it's really the com competing basically with other people for the attention of your partner Hierophant, okay, competing with a marriage partner, we get the guide, the Hierophant are the same energy so for some of you for sh okay, so for some of you you are going to see yourselves as being very single, even though one of you may be married. So the Nine of Pentacles is that energy and the mutual energy between the two of you of being very dedicated to each other, you know, as single people. But there may be one person here who's loyal to the relationship with you as if they're single because they don't feel married. Now, I know that sounds really convoluted, and it is. Uh, but it is, it's complicated, I would say that. That it appears that for those of you for whom your person is in a marriage, it does look like that marriage has broken a long time ago. The Three of Swords energy, the energy that speaks to the fact that uh, the two of you are very much in love with one another. And the Two of Swords, it's like, it's, it's like you're trying to, re you just ignore the fact that the person's married. The two of you have this fire in your belly. You appear to be the primary relationship with this person. The Six of Swords, you are waiting for them to move forward. The Six of Swords is that, or your person's waiting for you to move forward. They don't think you've done it yet, but they think that you're starting to do it. So this does look like, for many of you, a third party situation can also be simply a divorce that's already happened, but it almost feels like the responsibilities keep you tethered 
in almost a marital type way to a co-parenting situation or something of those of that nature six of swords your person is really seeing the stability with you in this relationship they feel as though you are in it to win it that is 11 11 the twin flame card the movement of swords says that your person wants you to speak up leo that's gemini energy they feel as though you need to give them information the seven of swords there your person is feeling as though you're not really being forthcoming with them they feel as though you're you may have to make a decision also and that you really haven't made that formal decision emotionally this decision has been made emotionally the two of you are very much in a sort of almost an emotional marriage but the two of wands the two of wands it's repeating itself the six of swords is repeating itself so why do we see your person, Leo, as this two of pentacles energy juggling their options, spirit of pentacles? So your person really wants, this is the king of pentacles energy. Your person really wants stability and that they're going to choose stability. So whatever happens in this relationship, your person is certainly going to look out for their own well-being, their own interests. We see this energy, the hanged man. They've been waiting around for a while. They feel a little bit dizzy, you know, a little bit uncertain about what's going on, looking at things from a different perspective. They're ready to move forward very quickly with you. Cancerian energy. Two of Wands is Aries energy. They think it's time for you to take action. The Heart of Wands. Okay, so when we get the Heart of Wands in a reading, your other person looks like they are the quote-unquote proverbial other woman since we've had the three of swords and the two of coins we have a lot of marriage energy around the two of you but the two of you act very much like you're single together the six of coins what does it mean for an investment Ooh, the magician card that is the energy of virgo and gemini the two of you have all you need to manifest this relationship but something has to be released you do have the, the underpinnings of a very abundant, happy, glorious relationship. What do we have here with the God? We have the Hierophant. We have the two of you. When the two of you are together, you really feel married. That is the hidden energy. It's great happiness. It's a relationship that's very, uh, it looks very simple, very straightforward. It looks like a relationship that doesn't have a lot of conflict. It brings you great joy. This is wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. This relationship for you is something that you've never had before, and I will repeat, never again. So, Leo, if you don't make the choice to be with this person, you don't take your queen of wands with you if you don't choose your person you know it does look like they will make a decision that will be good for them so we get the moon card clarifying the two of wands your person's very confused leo about what to do we have the moon card here twice heart of cups so your person has a very deep love for you your person is being advised by spirit to but to make a choice it's good for them so what we see here is the innocence of pentacles. That's as I suspected, we have children, a child, children. Um, but it does look like the core issue with making the choice here. But also spirit is telling you to follow your heart. Spirit is recommending that the choice you make is going to be intimidating. It's going to be scary for you. But it also says follow your heart and that your children will be okay. You know, whatever's going on in the relationship with that energy. Why do we have the moon card here for your outcome card at this time? <gasps> Naked heart, the twin flame card again. We had it, we had the four of wands. Can't remember quite, quite where it was at in the reading, but we do have it here. And we have again 1111, the twin flame card. What it's showing me also with the moon card is that the two of you may just be coming in, coming into an understanding. Uh, the moon card often appears when we're confused it's smoky trails it's not really knowing what's going on the innocence of swords means that we're feeling a little bit like a little spicy here you know a little bit like why isn't this coming together so what we see here is both of you sort of spying on one another not really knowing 
the score. It looks like you're keeping each other in the dark. The innocence of cups is that like, well, will will this happen? But a judgment, a full term decision has to be made. You are soulmates. You've got Gemini energy, Gemini Virgo. So you might be dealing with a Gemini also. But it, what we're seeing here is a judgment. And, and I see that as primarily a judgment of divorce energy. You know, that has to have happen. And I'm getting the energy that to make a beautiful offer, which is the engagement ring, you know, something has to be released here. You have to, you have to move on, Leo. Again, I will say energies can be vice versa, as we all know. But we see both of you very much wanting to invest in the relationship. Let's look and see what the energy is here with this Leo, what's going on. The reading within the reading is what I call this. <laughs> and it really is about what it is, Leo, in this relationship that is intimidating. What is intimidating you? Because this relationship is a divine partnership. We've got divine partnership. We have twin flames. We have soulmates. We have two people that feel like they're married to one another. Tell us more the challenge, okay? So this is a big challenge, Leo. It doesn't look like, you know, you're a fixed energy. You don't like change, particularly the temptation. So you don't really know right now. You're really questioning. Many of you are questioning if this is real because the temptation here is you feel like this is a temptation and this too shall pass. You're wondering if this is just folly. You know, your own insecurities are pretty strong. Excuse me. They're very strong about this relationship. So let's look and see what we have here. Let's see. We have the Lady of Leprechauns. So Leo, what we're seeing here is that this person that you're involved with is enchanting that you see them as maybe not even being quite real. The Lady of Leprechauns is uh, loves to have a human lover. And since we see this as the other woman, you're very worried that if you come into a relationship with this person, that, and this is masculine, feminine, it's just energy. Um, but what we're seeing here is that you're very worried that this is a novelty relationship for your person and that at the end of the day they might not choose you so it does look like a fear-based situation right now i do want to get the energy though of the shadow deck here let's see what we have this is el goliath deck let's see what the overall energy is with this at the bottom of the deck the Queen of Swords, okay, the Queen of Swords is having the clarity to make a decision accurately. So it does speak to the fact that you have an understanding of who this person is, but it does, it also says that your person is very reliable, that your person has thought about this in a very intellectual way. This is Libra energy. They do take the relationship seriously and they do want a long-term commitment with you, but they will use their intellect to make a decision on, you know, whether they're going to go you know, whether they'll leave this relationship or not based on whether you are willing to release your past relationship. So for whom it resonates, I send you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye, Leo.